Good to see you again. I'm excited to bring you our latest read aloud. It's Mr. Lone. Um, as I was looking for a book today uh, to read to you, I said, you know what, let's just do something light, something that's going to make us laugh. And I came across this book from Matthew Cordell that is called Trouble Gum. And I'm sure a lot of us who are listening to this, or a lot of us here at McGinn, at some point have made a mess with a piece of gum. And that's what we're going to see happen here. So kick back, enjoy, and away we go with Trouble Gum. The trouble at the Figs' house began one rainy day when Grammy was over for tea. Mom was knitting a blanket for Julius. Reuben stared out the living room window. Oh, Mom, Reuben said. When's the rain gonna end? Not for a while, Reuben. Why don't you play with Julius? Julius was playing with his cars and trucks. Reuben played along. Watch this, Julius. I'm an ambulance. Woo, woo, woo. Reuben, can you be a little quieter? Mom asked. Reuben played super pig. Reuben always got to be super pig. Julius was always his sidekick. Squeal. Come on, squeal. To the rescue, Reuben shouted. Thump. Reuben, Mom yelled. Settle down. Grammy had an idea. Gum. Gum wasn't often allowed. It tended to make a mess. You know the rules, Mom said. Don't swallow your gum, don't play with your gum, and don't blow big sticky bubbles with your gum. Be careful. Reuben loved chewing. This is how the big pigs chew, Julius, Reuben said between smacks. He swapped sides. First, all left chews. Then all right. He chewed lying down. He chewed balancing on his head. He chewed in super slow motion. He chewed in full tilt fast motion. But, uh-oh, I accidentally swallowed my gum. Can I have another piece, Grammy? Reuben asked. Good gravy, Mom said. You only had that gum two minutes, and you've already broken the rules. I'm sorry. There will be no more gum for you today. Please, Reuben begged. I promise not to swallow another one. Give him one more chance, dear, Grammy said. You swallowed many a piece of gum when you were a piglet. Mom reluctantly agreed. I'll just sit and chew, Reuben thought, wrapping up in a warm blanket. This is how the big pigs stretch a piece of gum, Julius, Reuben said. I hope you're not playing with your gum, Reuben, said Mom. If you do, the gum will go right in the trash. And let's put my new blanket back on the chair, okay? But Reuben, Reuben couldn't stop yet. Just once more, Julius, Reuben whispered. Mom won't know. You hold this in. Stretch. Hang on, Julius. Snap. Uh-oh. Not in Mom's blanket, Reuben cried. Fortunately, this wasn't the first piece of gum Reuben had gotten stuck in Mom's knitting. He knew just what to do. Touch, touch, pull, stretch, yank, tear, tear, rip. Reuben, my blanket, Mom yelled. No more gum, Mom said. No more gum, Reuben mumbled. However, you're a good pig, Julius. Ever see me blow a bubble? Reuben asked. This is how the big pigs blow a bubble, Julius. Reuben was still learning. But on his next try, he blew a bubble as big as a juice box. Watch this, Julius. I'm a natural. Really? He blew a bubble as big as a birdhouse. Pop. Hey! Let's see what we can do with three pieces, said Reuben. Look out for Mom, okay? He blew a bubble as big as Great Uncle Stew. But... Reuben! Pop! Rub-a-dub-dub, scrub, 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 scrub. Reuben... Fetch Granny's purse. It's time to say goodbye, Mom said. And then... Crinkle, crackle, crackle, smack, crinkle, crackle, stir, oh, snap, crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> Julius! shouted Mom. Julius! Pop! Gum! yelled Reuben. It tended to make a mess. So I hope as you chew your gum, whenever you get those chances, you're a little safer than Reuben and Julius were with theirs. McGinn will be back with another fun story tomorrow. Have an awesome night. See ya.